It's time. It's time. It's time. For what? For the Cheerios Giraffe Show. Sit back and relax so we'll sing chat and laugh all on the Cheerios Giraffe Show. I am so glad to see you back today. And every time we like to know for sure who's who on the Curious Crew. So I've asked Milo today if he would use Jeanette Giraffe to introduce everybody, because Jeanette likes to talk and she's going to speak up and ask people their names. Go ahead. You could say to Donay, what's your name? What's your name? Donay. Hi, Donay. Hi, Hi Donay. Yeah, now ask somebody else. What's your name? Emily. Hi, Hi Emily. Emily. What's your name? Olivia. Hi, Hi Olivia. Olivia. What's your name? Claire. Hi, Hi Claire. Claire. What's your name? Julia. Hi, Hi Julia. Julia. You can ask him. What's your name? Hi, I'm Sun Wu. Hi, Hi Sun Wu. Hello. What's your name? I'm Dorothy. Hi, Hi Dorothy. Dorothy. And yes. who are you? Who are you? I'm Milo. Hi, Milo. Hi, Milo. Thank you very much. And Milo, you can help the puppet to sing, but if your hand gets warm, you can take her off to rest her, okay? We're going to start with the Curious Giraffe song and see what the giraffes are wondering about today. Okay. <laughs> and this time, the first verse is about a zebra. The second verse is about is something Giraffes new. We're going to surprise right. you, actually, I think, on the second verse. Here we go. Giraffe looked over at Zebra and said, Why do I have spots? Why do you have stripes? Zebra just shrugged and said, We come in all types. Fun, we all share one big sky. Oh, yeah, here we go. Share one big sky, share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Cause we can all share and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. Now here's today's special verse. Giraffe looked over at zebra and said, I know this, we look different, though we live in the same place. I'm curious to learn about culture and race underneath this one big sky. Oh yeah. Share one big sky, share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Cause we can all share and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. Oh, that is such awesome singing. And we are different, but we all belong. And so the question says, I'm curious to learn about culture and race. Does anybody have an idea? Julia, I'm going to give you a chance. I'm going to let them think for a minute. Any idea what we mean by those two words, culture and race? So, Julia, you start us off. Um, well, culture, first of all, culture means, like, where you live or what you came from. Okay. Like, like Native Americans, that's your culture. You, you learn. Yeah. And your race is um, who you are uh -huh. and um, what, what kind of person you are, like your color skin or, um, or how you look. Uh-huh, uh-huh, excellent. You've, been, you've really thought about this. Thank you. Does anybody else want to add to that? Okay, well, this is my friend Sung Woo. Hello. And he is especially interested in those words, too, and I want him to tell us a little more. Okay, well, I can't really, like, speak, um, like, I can't, I'm not going to try to, like, st tell the, like, the terms, like, definitions of those words, but I'm going to tell you, like, a story, of, like, when I was your age, like, so when I was like kind of like a background of mine, so I was born in Seoul, Korea. Um, that's in South. That's in the um, you know Southeast Asia, and um, I was born in Seoul, Korea, and I came to America when I was four years old. Um, so I think I was in kindergarten, or well, like preschool to kindergarten age. Mm -hmm. But um, when I first came to this country, you now like I you know since I was from Korea, like everyone in Korea like. 
they look a certain way, uh, in a way that's different from where I came to, which is Cambridge, Massachusetts, and like Boston. And my neighborhood, you know, it was extremely strange for me when I first came because I'll see people that are white, I'll see a lot of black people, I'll see a lot of Hispanic, Latina people, and my neighborhood, my neighborhood that I moved to actually was predominantly, it was mostly um, black and darker skinned people, and we're the, I was the only Korean slash Asian American, Asian family in my apartment. All of our neighbors were um, African American black friends of ours, and um, we came to our neighborhood uh, moving at that age, being a little foreign because you know, we've never seen people like this before. And as soon as we moved in, everyone was were introducing their names to us. Were like giving us gifts for moving in. Like oh. they were like, they would invite us to their block parties and stuff like dinners. And it was great because like they, even though we look so different from everyone there, or you know we have different backgrounds or culture, like they all treated us like we we're family and friends. And to me, that was like the biggest one of the biggest lessons I learned when I first came to America was everyone just gets along really well. And these things, you know, you know, skin color or ethnicity, culture, whatever. Like um, people that I was around with, um, they they just looked past that, and we were all just friends, and nothing was different. You know, so that's kind of like how I understand, um, you know, the differences in this country. Right. I I felt super welcomed, and everyone was super awesome to us. What a good <laughs> experience you had! Yeah. Wow. Does anybody have a question they want to ask us? I was yeah, I was like in around like first year of kindergarten around this time. I'm wondering, did you know how to speak English? Oh, I was really bad at English. Like, <laughs> I was no one could understand what I was saying. Like. And I tried my best, but people were still like, people didn't care. Like they would still, you know, be friends with me, <laughs> and we'd spend time together, and it was no different. So they could smile, and you could smile. Yeah, that's a universe. That's a language everyone understands. Yeah, that's so great. Mm. So the next song is about how we can have friends. All of us can have friends with every shade of skin or every language, from different parts of the world. So this is called, What Makes a Person a Person? What makes a person a friend? And Sung Woo likes our show because we do music and songs, mm -hmm. and so he has brought his instrument. We'll learn a little more about that later, okay? Okay, join me if you know the chorus. And what makes a person a person? What makes a person a friend? What makes a person be black or brown or tan? Friendships come in every shade of skin. Our parents and grandparents gave us their DNA. It happened long ago. We didn't have a say. We all can walk in knowledge, whatever skin we're in, that we wear the love and wisdom from our ancestors back then. What makes a person a person? What makes a person a friend? What makes a person be black or brown or tan? Friendships come in every shade of skin. Now clothing can be chosen and changed every day. Our feelings will come and they'll go. Our skin is for a lifetime, for we are born this way. It's always closest to us every minute, every day. What makes a person a person? What makes a person a friend? What makes a person be black or brown or tan? Friendships come in every shade of skin. Now together we are awesome, the many shades of earth. Darker or lighter or somewhere in between. Every single person is a person of worth. So many different people make makes it interesting. What makes a person a person? What makes a person a friend? What makes a person be black or brown or tan? Friendships come in every shade of skin. Oh yes, friendships come in every shade of skin. So I'd like to be a better friend to you, Sung Woo. Okay. And we don't know each other very well. We met here at the studio. 
and what I'm wondering is about your guitar. Yes. It is different than mine. It's very different. <laughs> and uh, mine has six strings. How many does yours have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven strings. That is so cool. I have never seen a seven string guitar until I saw you with yours. Yay. That is so exciting. So I'm curious, where did you learn to play the guitar? Oh, I learned to play guitar in when I was in sixth grade and I have heard a Beatles song a couple months ago and I became fascinated with the song that I wanted to play guitar and I learned at a lesson store uh, where I took lessons in sixth grade. In sixth grade you took lessons. Well, that was 11 for me, years ago. 11 years yes. ago? Yes. Wow. For me, someone I knew had a guitar and they weren't using it. And I said, could I borrow it? And I bought, got a book that showed pictures of where to put my fingers. And I practiced and practiced to learn to play guitar. <laughs> so you can take lessons or you can teach yourself. And I just think your guitar is beautiful. Thank you. You all like his guitar? Yeah. Yeah. It's I like really blue. special. I like it a lot. Aw. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it makes a special sound. Yay. Okay. So we could meet people and notice their differences. Or I have a friend, Patricia. She, she wrote a question. She also is a, she looked a little different than the people in her neighborhood and people would notice that she looked different. So she said to herself, what if we all met in the dark and learned about each other by what's in our hearts? Not by color or size or lots of other things we're gonna sing about. So let's sing this song. What if we all met in the dark? Didn't see the differences. Hmm. Interesting question. What if we all met in the dark and learned about each other by what's in our hearts, not by color or size or the shape of our eyes? What if we all met in the dark? What if we think it would be like if we met each other in the dark? Yes, don't it? it would, uh, in the winter it would be freezing cold. It'd be cold? You might be cold in the dark? Okay, Claire. We wouldn't see each other and wouldn't know what we looked like. Mm. We wouldn't know what we looked like. How would you get to know each other? Yes. By what's in our hearts. And how would you share that with each other? Um, you would tell them. You would have to speak up, wouldn't you? You would have to use your words. So, what might you ask? Um, what's your skin color? You could ask about the skin color because you want to know that? How would you find out what's in their heart? Don't know. By asking them. By, ask, by asking them. You could say, what's special to you? What, what do you love? Yes. Like, uh, how do you feel or something? How do you feel? Sh 
sure. These are tricky questions. It's not easy. I'm just going to pose them for us. Now, I have a story song, and this is about some animals mm -hmm. that paid a lot of attention about how things looked and not about the hearts until later. So, Olivia, would you get our mystery box? Because we need the characters that are in the mystery box. Okay, take it over there and open it up for us. Oh, the other one. How about Emily? You pull on the other one. Three-person job. <laughs> I oh. usually, okay. Ooh. Now, pass out. There are four. So since the two of you got to open it, can you share them with the other kids? Pass out the characters that are going to be in the story. Okay, do you know what character you got, Milo? Skunk. Skunk. And... Donate, what character do you have? A tiger. Yes. Which character do you have, Emily? A zebra. Yes. And who do you have? I have a leopard. Julia. A leopard. Okay, so here's the story. And it, um, is, it says, a tiger, skunk, and a zebra belong to the same club. And the, the words repeat a lot. So listen to me and you can sing along. You'll catch on. A tiger, skunk, and a zebra belong to the same club. The leopard tried to join it, but they said, no way, bub, cause you gotta have stripes to join the club. You gotta have stripes to join the club. You gotta have stripes to join the club. You gotta have stripes, have stripes. The leopard wanted to join so much that she got some paint at a shop. She painted herself and when it dried, she painted stripes on top cause she had to have stripes to join the club. She had to have stripes to join the club. She had to have stripes to join the club. She had to have stripes, have stripes. So the leopard joined the club and they became best friends, just like family can. But one hot day they went swimming. Jump in the water, everybody. And when the leopard jumped in, it washed away all her stripes. One by one, it washed away all her stripes. One by one, it washed away all her stripes. One by one, it washed away all her stripes. Away, her stripes. Away, her stripes. No stripes. Well, the tiger, skunk, and the zebra, they could not believe their eyes. The leopard looked herself over, and then she started to cry. I don't have any stripes, I just have spots. I don't have any stripes, I just have spots. I don't have any stripes, I just have spots. I don't have any stripes, no stripes. Well, the tiger, skunk, and the zebra, they saw what they had done. They told the leopard they'd change their club and make it open to everyone. You don't have to have stripes to join the club. You don't have to have stripes to join the club. You don't have to have stripes to join the club. You don't have to have stripes. No stripes, you don't have to have stripes, you can be yourself. You don't have to have stripes, you can be yourself. You don't have to have stripes, you can be yourself. You don't have to have stripes, no stripes. So how do you think they felt at the end? Happy. Happy, why? Because. Because. Everybody felt happy. Everybody felt happy. Who else would like to say? Yes, Julia? Um, they also, before they real ending, they felt a little sad because they had, they had, um, they had saw what they had done. They had, um, made the leopard cry. They had. They had learned about the leopard's heart. You all were talking about hearts before. They found out that she cared. And guess what? It woke up their hearts to care and they could change what they were doing. So I think that's really important for animals and for people. So I would like to teach you a 
kindness march, about people deciding to be kind. Okay, I'll lead it and you march right after me. Today's the day I set my mind. Today's the day I set my mind. Be strong. Be strong. Be kind. Be kind. I'll find a way, a way I'll find. I'll find a way, a way I'll find. Be strong. Be strong. Be kind. Be kind. I will not let unkindness win. I will not let unkindness win. So I will be a better friend. So I will be a better friend. A smile, a wave, a welcome in. A smile, a wave, a welcome in. Will help us all belong. Will help us all belong. So sing this mighty song. So sing this mighty song. Today's the day I set my mind. Today's the day I set my mind. Be strong. Be strong. Be kind. Be kind. I'll find a way, a way I'll find. I'll find a way, a way I'll find. Be strong. Be strong. Be kind. Be kind. I will not leave another out. I will not leave another out. So I will stop and look about. So I will stop and look about. And make sure there's not any doubt. And make sure there's not any doubt. That everyone belongs. That everyone belongs. So sing this mighty song. So sing this mighty song. Today's the day I set my mind. Today's the day I set my mind. Be strong. Be strong. Be kind. Be kind. I'll find a way, a way I'll find. I'll find a way, a way I'll find. Be strong. Be strong. Be kind. Be kind. I love to laugh and play and run. I love to laugh and play and run. But I always have more fun. But I always have more fun. Win the games with everyone. Win the games with everyone. And we all get along. And we all get along. Today's the day I set my mind. Today's the day I set my mind. Be strong. Be strong. Be kind. Be kind. Oh, that's great. Does a circle have one person in it or lots of people? Lots, lots of people. people. Yeah. However many people you open it to, right? So, say the words after me. Open the circle. Open the circle. The time has come. The time has come. Open the circle. Open the circle to everyone. To everyone. It's my circle. It's my circle. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. I'll keep it open. I'll keep it open. Till nobody's left out. Till nobody's left out. And when they sang that song to me, I said, why don't we sing It's Our Circle? Because there's many of us in the circle. And do you know what Frank told me? Frank is the one who couldn't see. He said, all it takes is one person in the circle to open it. So if each person in the circle says, hmm, I notice somebody's feeling left out, or maybe they're new and they just don't know how to ask to play. And you could just turn. And I thought it was interesting that Sung Woo felt he made friends right away in the new country, even when they didn't understand each other's words. They smiled and they gave each other things and they just showed each other. So I think I'd like to sing this and then practice words we could say to open the circle, each of us. So it goes like this. Open the circle, the time has come. It again, a little peppier. Open the circle, the time has come. Open the circle to everyone. It's my circle without a doubt. I'll keep it open till nobody's left out. Okay, so. If you looked around and saw somebody who wasn't a part of it, what's one thing you can say? We're going to come up with 
Uh, let me say, let's try at least five different things we could say to welcome somebody into your game or your circle. Claire. Come on. Come on. Everybody practice that. Come on. Come on. <laughs> All right, great. Olivia? Please come, you're welcome. Please come, you're welcome. Practice. Please, Please come, come, you're, you're welcome. welcome. Thank you. Donay? Um, come play with us. Everybody practice. Come, come play, play with us. us. There's room for everyone. Mm. Everybody practice that. There's room for everyone. Anybody have another idea? Would you play with me? Everybody practice. Would, Would you, you play, play with, with me? me? You have another idea? I'll give you one to say. Okay. What's your name? Everybody practice. What's, What's your name? name? My name is? My name is? And then they'll know at least one person's name. And you can know their name, and you can say, Sung Wu, I want you to meet Milo. I just met him, but let's get to know each other. Okay? So do you put your hand on your heart if you think you could remember and say something like that if you see someone looking left out. You think you can remember one of those things or make up your own thing? You think you could? Anyway, we practice today, and it's okay. It's okay. Because we all have feelings. We feel happy when we belong, and we sometimes feel like somebody could help us if we feel left out. Okay? All right. So, it's already time for our closing song. So, I want to say, Sung Woo, thank you for visiting our show today. Oh, I'm glad to be here again. Yes. <laughs> now, I want you to know, you might not realize it, but Sung Woo is part of this TV station, and I met him because he worked one of the cameras for us. <laughs> and then I learned that he was a musician, too, and that he used to teach. So, I'm so happy to know many more things about you, and today I Yay. learned where you came from and how you got comfortable being in a new country. Mm. That's great. Okay, let's stand up and sing our giraffe song. Keep singing, keep looking up, keep asking questions and never give up. Keep singing, keep looking up, keep asking questions and never give up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.